Hey everybody, it's B, and today I'm going to be unboxing this year's Star Wars <laughs> Droid Advent Calendar. And I'm very excited. This was a gift from somebody. Um, uh, and, you know, who knows how much I love Star Wars. I am not Catholic. I'm not religious by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but I absolutely love Star Wars and I absolutely love droids. So, yeah, I'm super excited about this. My cat is choosing right now to dig around in the litter box. So we're going to give it a pause while she does what she needs to do and that'll get started. Good job, little girl. Okay, back to it. So, here it is. The front, the side, the back. As you can see, it is meant to emulate a uh, sand crawler, the sort of transport and home of the Jawa on Tatooine. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's got all of these uh, really cool little droids inside. And obviously there are some mysteries, some surprises. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. It's got a lot of tape, so I'm actually gonna use some scissors because I don't really want to damage the packaging. I actually would like to put it back together and use it as a prop because I'm a child. So for context, I got this and a few other things uh, from this person during my trip to Disney World. It was a once in a lifetime trip, literally, meaning I never intend to go back. Um, and so I did, I went all out. Uh, it was something we'd been planning for quite a while. And uh, yeah, so I got to go to Disney World with my very best friend and our benefactor. And on the whole, I had a pretty dang good time. Spent most of it actually in Galaxy's Edge, quite literally just hanging out. Um, I went on Rise of the Resistance several times. I went on Smuggler's Run several times. And I also went on Star Tours several times, which actually has some new stories that you can experience, which is pretty cool. Sorry if this gives anybody anxiety watching me open this. Um, yeah, that was really awesome. Because, uh, you know, I'm, it was my favorite growing up at Disneyland which I had a family member who worked for Disney, so we were able to get in uh, pretty inexpensively, if not for free, I don't really remember exactly. Um, so that was really cool, uh, getting to sort of relive that, and I got to go through some of the older stories, you know, the original stories, and then that had come with the, uh, the ride. And then I got to actually uh, try out the newer stories, which was also really cool. All right, so we've got our little cover here, and on the back, it just describes what's in the box. All different types of droids populate the Star Wars galaxy. I know, I'm a nerd about it. Each droid is different and has their own unique personality and colors. Open up the Sandcrawler to reveal and build seven new droids to celebrate along with them for 25 days of the season. May the force be with you and your droids. All right, so here's what it looks like without the tape around it. You can see there's a mystery droid in there. Gosh, I am so excited. Obviously, it is an advent calendar, so I'm, a, well, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm making an assumption here that you pick one piece out for each day leading up to Christmas, but I could be way off here. I could be way off, so. Ooh. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I mean, that looks like uh, an advent calendar for sure. So that's exciting. I wish, though, I do wish that it was in a box where you can just open up a thing and, and pull a thing out. Oh my God, you guys, I am dumb. I am dumb. All right, so you know how I was like, man, I wish that we could open it up. I'm so dumb. All right, I'm putting this back in and then we'll talk about why I'm dumb. Okay, there we go. Come on, open it up. Dumb, 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 me. oh my God. Y'all, it wasn't meant to be open that way. <laughs> 
Oh, it was meant to be opened this way. See, this makes more sense. It is meant to be opened this way. And it does have little doors. Okay, so two of them fell out while I was trying to get it back in. Uh, so we may be a little bit out of order, hopefully not. But oh my god, how cute is that? Oh, that's so cute. Absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. So I'm going to be taping up the back of this back up so that way it stays where it needs to. Uh, but th like I said, this makes a lot more sense. Um, cool. So there is actually an order. So one here on the bed with the little Jawa. So here's the issue of having dyscalculia. Everything looks the same. Two over here on top of this what looks like an R2 droid's head. Three over here by what looks like pieces of a gonk droid. Four, the Jawas looking out at the, uh, the Jawas looking out at the Death Star. Five would be down here by the little mouse droid. I think that's a mouse droid. Size is a little strange. That must be a really tiny Jawa. Six. Jawa in Santa hat. Seven. Blue milk and cookies. Eight. Gonk again. I love gonk droids so much. Nine. Where are we at with nine? Jawa's looking out again. 10, putting the ornaments on the tree. I'm sure you guys have already found it. 11, Jawa with the mouse droid. 12, Sugar Plum Jawas. 13, with the star. 14, Death Star again. 15, this would be an R5 droid? Sixteen presents, seventeen sugar plum Jawas, eighteen Christmas Jawas by a fire. That's nice. Oh, I see. That's the furnace. <laughs> Nineteen Christmas tree, twenty. I'm not sure what these what droid these components are for. It might also be a gog. Twenty. Twenty one. This is something that I will translate from Arabesh. 22, 23, 24. Each day leading up to Christmas, which is a holiday I don't celebrate, um, I'm going to just unbox uh, one piece at a time and it'll just be a short and I'll, I'll upload it as a Vlogmas shorts. So for those of you who are interested in watching me um, put together some droids, including a mystery droid while we get ready for uh, Christmas throughout a sort of vlogoween vibe, tune in every day. I will try to do it in the morning before I do anything else with my life, but chances are it'll probably be in the evening. Unfortunately, to kick off my December, I dislocated my knee, and so I have basically been not super in the mood to really do much. Um, thankfully, I'm feeling a lot better. I've got my knee brace on. Oof, I shouldn't be bending it like that, though. Fun times. Um, so... Yeah, it was supposed to be a video day all the way through Christmas, um, but here we are. I'm filming this on December 4th. It will likely go out on the upcoming Sunday, which means that we've got basically a full week's worth of unboxing to get through, which I am very excited to do. Um, but these are all going to be put out still as one individual video at a time, and they're all going to be relatively short. Well, that's very exciting. I am, I've never done this tradition before. I'm not Catholic. Uh, that does not stop. I don't celebrate Christmas, but that's not going to stop me. <laughs> so how exciting. Um, I can't wait to do a video each day this uh, December to share with you my experiences of um, going through this awesome little advent calendar.
Hey friend, thanks for watching. Remember that every Saturday is another virtual write-in video and every Friday is another final do it Friday. Both of these are body double style content. So virtual write-in, we sit down somewhere cozy, we write together, and final do it Friday is a chores slash household tasks slash errands video. And of course, once a month, I do a video about trans topics. Um, this month, December, I will be doing my best to actually make up for the backlog of monthly trans videos I didn't make this year. So hopefully you'll be seeing a lot of content from me. Actually, on the topic of special content, this month I'm doing a daily Star Wars droid themed advent calendar video for YouTube Shorts and for the Clock app. So if that's something you're interested in, keep an eye out for that. Due to popular request, I will be starting next year doing some Warhammer and D&D and other hobby body doubling content. But the important thing for me to be able to start doing that is for my account to get monetized. And this is where you come in. What I need right now, I mean, more subscribers is great, don't get me wrong, but watch hours. That's what I need is, is more watch hours. So when you watch my videos all the way through, and especially when you leave a comment after watching a full video, that really goes a long way to helping get my video in front of more people who might be interested in using, you know, my body doubling or watching me unwrap little droid pieces or eventually watching me do Warhammer things. Subscribing, sharing, commenting, these are all free ways that you can help support my content. And of course, speaking of support, I do wanna thank all of my Patreon supporters. The list of Patreon supporters is at the end of every video. I also, at the end of each video, have a little slideshow that shows all the different options for people who are interested in supporting me via Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in, check it out. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you soon. Hello, goose, goose, goose. Yeah, goose, 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 goose. She's little. Yeah, she's little. Where are we going? Can we go up the stairs? Good job. <laughs> He's so speedy. All right, scissors. 